Hey Vinyl Community, it's Greg from uh, Three Dimensions of Music. I wanted to make a video uh, to cover what I bought and new additions to my uh, collection and also what I found in uh, thrift stores, uh, a couple CDs and an album. Not a whole lot because uh, I really slowed down beginning of the year. I'm trying to save some money for this RSD coming up because I have a few titles I want to get from there, but uh, I wanted to share with you guys uh, what I got. Uh, first off, went to a, a thrift store. Oh, by the way, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Cheers. Uh, first one to find uh, at a thrift store called the Red, White, and Blue. It's down in uh, uh, Bellevue, not near, near where I live. Uh, this is a, a jazz CD uh, by Walt Harper and all that jazz. He's a local uh, jazz musician in Pittsburgh. And he had Stanley Tarantine, uh, his band, and Cecil Brooks. Uh, a lot of great songs on this. It really turned out real nice. Uh, whoever mastered it, uh, the gentleman did a great job. Did a lot of uh, covers from Grant Green, to Dizzy Gillespie, to Duke Ellington. Uh, Walt Harper's got a few of his own tunes on here. Uh, but Stanley Tarantine was really attracted me to this. It was a, a couple of bucks. Uh, and it was in real good shape. Sounds really great. Uh, there used to be a club downtown in a building. I used to work downtown, uh, working from building to building, uh, repairing things. And uh, there was a, a place down there called Walt Harper's uh, Jazz Club. It was in the, uh, I believe the, uh, uh, what was the name of that place where I used to go into Duquesne Light a lot. Uh, one of those buildings downtown. I can't remember the name. It escapes me. Uh, downtown Pittsburgh. Uh, next, I find was uh, the first release from Sun Volt, and I actually like this. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I had another Sun Volt that uh, it took me some time to get used to, but this one here, a lot more approachable. Their first album, uh, Sun Volt, is called Trace. So I was very pleased with that. That was in the same day, and the, this also was the same day at the same place. It's three CDs. Uh, they didn't have any records to speak of at this place. Just and I didn't really expect to find these CDs, but this was a real nice find. This is actually a uh, three-disc set. Um, let's see if I can open it up without dropping anything. It's actually a three-disc set. You can see they were all there, which was kind of nice. There's no booklet or anything. But there's a radio station in town called WYEP, and they are a publicly a public funded, publicly funded radio station, just kind of like uh, uh, what you have for, uh, uh, I'm drawing a blank now, uh, public TV, if you had the public TV, public radio, this is like a publicly supported radio station, still around, it's been around for 40, 40, 50 years, but this was done in 19, or I mean actually 2012, I believe, uh, there's three CDs, one's called the... Uh, Live and Direct Volume 5. So there's other volumes of this, I guess, but uh, this is the only one I've ever seen. Uh, World Cafe at the Warhol, an ode to Andy Warhol, and then uh, Live and Local. Live and Local has all the, a lot of the local bands in the Pittsburgh area, and whoever mastered this did a great job on it, too. Uh, this is actually a radio station. Usually when you get, like, BBC or anything from a radio station, the people that master the uh, music usually do a very good job. <clears throat> it was funny because I was watching a, a video the other day of Tony P from uh, Two from the Trunk on his uh, uh, channel. And he was talking about an album he just got. It was by Janice, I believe it was Janice Ian. I think it's on here. Oh, this is, yeah, Janice Ian at seven, uh, 17. At 17. And it's on this particular disc. And when that came on, I've heard it before. Uh, Frank Sinatra. I think saying that too, uh, but uh, Janice Ian uh, just made that song. It was a beautiful song, and uh, here he had Tony had bought the whole Janice Ian album that has that on it. This only has the one song, but it sounds beautiful. A lot of great songs on here. There's another name I recognized. A lot of them I didn't recognize, obviously, uh, but there a lot of great music. But Sonny Landris is on here. Uh, who was the other guy? Sonny Landris. There was one more that I recognized. I think he was a guitarist for Top Tuna. Uh, 
God, what was his name? Doggone it. Joe Rashek is over here. So he'd probably been on the first one. I think he was uh, Jorma, yeah, Jorma Karkinen. Uh, yeah, Karkinen. Jorma Karkinen. Uh, song by him. So I kind of said, well, I'm going to buy it. Glad I did. A lot of great songs on there. Uh, I, if you try to read this, it's kind of like looking at a, uh, a chart where you see if you're colorblind. I don't know why they chose that background for the, the red lettering. It's very hard to read, so I couldn't read the song if I wanted to. Uh, that kind of covers the CDs I found at the, uh, the uh, thrift store, which was kind of a nice find. Not much, but uh, quality music, I would, I would say, for sure. Um, one thing I found, this is also a CD set I got, uh, I think, in February. Uh, it's called Stomo Yamashita. Uh, I, I got uh, turned on to this guy a long time ago when I was young. Uh, it was actually from this album that I had under the name Go. And it's a pretty cool cover. I've showed this once before. Uh, this is a, uh, an old album. Uh, it's on the old island label, I believe that is. But anyways, this album here, it's called Go. Stomu Yamashita is the drummer on this band. And the reason I bought this at the time, I think I found this in England. And it sounds really good. But there's a couple of people on here that uh, I was familiar with. Uh, Steve Winwood, Michael Shreve. Uh, Al Damiola, and then Al Damiola just stuck out right, right away. I said, gotta have it. Uh, and it was, wasn't was very expensive when I bought it back. I think I bought it when I was stationed in England. Uh, but this is called Go. The group is called Go. Stomu Yamashita is the percussion and uh, drums. Uh, and let's see what else he says here. Piano. So it, the, the vocals, Steve Winwood, very haunting. Uh, very good album. Uh, pretty cool cover. But anyways, that's how I got turned on to Stomo Yamashita, which is this, uh, this is the, uh, it's called Seasons. It's a box set of six CDs, and it, and it was 36% off. It was a no-brainer. Uh, somehow I found it accidentally. These are the Island albums, 1972 to 76. And uh, I believe there are seven CDs in here. Nice little booklet uh, of uh, Stomo Yamashita's albums that he did. That's what he looks like. But anyways, the first, I believe the first album he did was East Wind. Uh, this fellow's from Japan. Uh, I believe it's Japan. And it's it's like atmospheric type music, uh, uh, kind of fusion, fusion-y. Uh, just kind of music right up my alley. Uh, here's the uh, East Wind Storm. Stumble you master East one. This is Freedom is Frightening, CD3. Uh, not, not a whole lot to see with the CDs, obviously, but I wanted to show you. These are what the albums look like if you could ever find them. I have uh, one, I think one or two of them, but uh, most of them I didn't have, so that's why I got this box set. It's really cool. Uh, this one, I believe I have on vinyl. This is also Go. And this also had Aldini all on there too. Uh, Michael Shreve, Steve Winwood, same thing. They kind of got together towards the end of uh, him, him making these albums. And uh, they stuck together for a couple albums. And that live one is this one right here that I showed that was vinyl. So it's kind of neat to have it on CD because it runs concurrently from one disc to the next, uh, as you can see. Anyways, uh, that was Stomo, Stomo Yumashita. Hope I didn't butcher the name. But anyways, uh, the record is there. And the funniest thing about this case, <laughs> this is what they shipped it in. No, nothing but air, okay? Now, what kind of person picks this up, puts it in a bag, puts a sticker on it and says, ship it? Seriously? I don't know. But that's what it came in. I was lucky, I guess. It looked like it might have got stepped on by somebody. Uh, you can see the, it's all black. I don't know if you can see the crease there, but somebody must have stepped on it while it was on the floor. Who knows? Uh, but, uh, you know, you get it for a cheaper price. It might have been damaged. That's why it was cheaper. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But to, to ship it like that was kind of funny. I'm surprised it didn't get corners crushed or anything. 
but um, uh, I call that character. So, you know, what else can you do? You don't play the, as my friend uh, Stoner would say, you don't play the jacket. Thing. So they kind of along the same lines there. But that was Stone William Ashta. Uh, as far as records go, I have, I got this actually 36% off too, uh, which was a pretty good deal. Tedeschi Trucks Band uh, featuring Trey Anastasio, Layla Revisited. Now, uh, Layla is a uh, pretty, an album that everybody's familiar with that uh, Derek and the Dominos did with Eric Clapton. But these guys did it. Uh, uh, the Tedeschi Trucks Band. Let me see if I can show you the records. Tedeschi Trucks Band have custom labels usually. Uh, they're they're no slash when it comes to quality on their albums. I love the Tedeschi Trucks band, uh, but you got the Daryl Trucks, uh, and, and uh, his wife is on this too. Uh, Beth, not Beth, uh, oh my goodness, George Blanks and I do these videos. His wife's name, <laughs> where is she at? Oh my goodness, she's in there. I'll find it. Anyways. He met her in 1999. He married her right after he met her a few years later. And uh, they've been a, 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 a duo ever since. And I'm going to blank on the name. I'm sorry about that. But she's in there. Beautiful lady. Great talent. Great guitarist. Great singer. I think you know who I'm talking about. Anyways, great album. I love it. It's a three album set. One side is uh, an etching, but uh, the quality, it's its actually mastered. I believe it's mastered and cut by Chris Bellman from the Analog Mixtapes. Uh, it's, it's, it was like 36 bucks. I could be it. That's almost 12 bucks a record. Uh, and it sounds just fantastic. And uh, the last... Uh, video I made, uh, I got a comment from uh, Don, the old goat. Uh, I was showing off my uh, CD of uh, the God of the Vida. I was so proud of that Don told me that he got the uh, original master recording of the uh, God of the Vida. I didn't know that he made that. That just blew my mind. It, it was mind blown, right? But Don, if you, if you watch me and you do, and you comment, I appreciate it. I have Layla, original master recording, so I'll see your master recording of mine. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, great stuff. Oh, wait, I got a couple here I missed for vinyl. Uh, Queen's Right, Mind Crime, At the Moor. It's a four record set. It is uh, Mind Crime. Uh, one and, it's like a one and two, it's like together. And you can see all the songs are on there. And I kind of like Queen's Right. I got a few CDs of theirs, and I saw this special uh, in my local record store. And uh, it says Operation Mind Grand Parts 1 and 2 recorded live in their entirety. This is music on vinyl. It sounds pretty good. I expected it to be a little more dense with signal uh, uh, the quality, uh, uh, but it is a live recording. Sometimes you lose a little bit live, uh, but it's, it's great music. Uh, just fantastic set, four record set. And that there, it, it was numbered 1,922 out of 3,500. Picked that up, a Rhino, Rhino record. Uh, next one, which everybody has been showing, and I, I just got turned on to it, too, because uh, I love Jimi Hendrix, I have a lot of Hendrix. So I bought this uh, Los Angeles Forum record. It sounds great, and it's, it's a great performance. It's kind of, it's, uh, Jimi Hendrix is kind of like uh, Grateful Dead, you can never have too much. Uh, because every time he does a performance, it's a little bit different. So this is no no exception. Love this, love it. So I picked that up too. And that was the that's the extent of uh, what I have for uh, my my first quarter purchases, uh, notwithstanding RSD, which is the end of April, January, February, March. So April's the next quarter. So that's cool. Uh, but I, I thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. I appreciate your comments. Uh, 
I toast you guys and shameless plug for my friend Steve Carlson. Check him out. Uh, and I did get a package here that I'm going to open up on my next video from a friend down in Florida. Uh, his name's Matt at Prime Analog Records. And I'm going to follow up with a, uh, a, a video when I get my voice back. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Happy St. Patty's Day. Stay healthy. Stay safe.